is this representation that Sean Wotherspoon is down bad or is this more representation that he's now at a place where he can do what he wants and he's being empowered to really push his artistry and creative expression to the limits what do you guys think so this is courtesy of hypebeast it says sean wotherspoon teams up with adidas to give away vintage jackets at coachella so it says as follows aside from all the incredible music acts that flock to idaho ca for the iconic coachella festival the world renowned event is um replant replete whatever that word means with various installations and brand activations for attendees to enjoy this year adidas is taking part in the action for a special initiative with sean uh Wotherspoon as the two parties have linked up to give away repurposed vintage jackets to 100 lucky fans my purpose is here the quote my purpose with this Adidas jacket project was to just simply use as many jackets and hoodies as I could find, whether vintage or not. It kind of devoids the point, isn't it? Um, and print on them so that they could be given a second life and not considered trash or garbage or whatever, said Wolverspoon about his collaboration. Now they'll be in the closets and not landfills. All these unique pieces are from the round two owner's private stash and further expand upon the ethos to shop secondhand and push more sustainable future. No, it doesn't. What? Wolverspoon has been a fan of vintage Adidas track uh, Perel for nearly 16 years. Yeah, sure. Um, when baggy oversized jackets and aesthetics started to trend, 100 jacket does sound like a lot, but in comparison to the amount of secondhand clothes that are currently available and ready to be upcycled, 100 was easy for me to select. I tried to be as little picky as I possibly could, since the point is to give away as many a second chance. I really tried to leave it behind. If you're attending Coachella on the weekend, keep your eyes peeled for a vintage connoisseur because you might walk away with a free jacket. I'm going to say this is damn bad. He's out here having to take stuff from his own collection, cut it up and make jackets or print on it and make new interesting things and then give them away to fans. Like, what does that do? What is Adidas actually doing for sustainability? Like, what the what is this? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And does it at all tie in with the shoes that he's making? So the shoes that he's made, are they made out of sustainable materials? Are they all materials that have been taken from past Adidas collections and then slapped on to the model that he's making? Those terrible ones that he made, the Stan Smith with the thread that hangs off, is all that threading from past stuff that was made and he repurposed or things that were going to be thrown in landfills. What? Or was it just new materials that were just made for the shoe itself? I'm not really too sure. But if ever there was an example of a, a visual representation of what a fall from grace looks like it would be this isn't it these two images alongside each other one image of him holding these bin bags full of you know shitty adidas jumpers that no one wanted in the first place and him now printing shit on them to give them away and then the other thing would be these terrible terrible eqt things that he did collaboration wise especially when you consider the air max that he designed and the air maxes that were due to come out after the fact that he ended up not releasing i guess because at that time his nike deal got cancelled for whatever reason this is an epic fall from grace and it's a side as well because i don't know what happened what occurred for his nike deal to get taken away or for them to walk away or for him to get sat i don't know what happened but it's a shame because you would feel like sean would be the perfect person to do whatever he's doing there with nike because he really is more of a nike guy than adidas guy this guy isn't adidas at all there's nothing about this guy that screams adidas adidas was just a the best second option available to him after he got dumped or maybe he walked away from nike but nike needs this more than adidas does and it fits their brand more than it fits adidas and also the shoes aren't great they're just terrible you can tell this is somebody that doesn't like adidas shoes because of the the sneaker he designed on number one and also the way it's been designed no one that actually likes adidas will design a eqt or whatever that model is in that way no way it's just terrible it's terrible terrible and printing screen printing on you know reclaimed old vintage that's hoodies and sweatshirts that who's wearing this stuff like just some hipsters guys who live in berlin like who's wearing this stuff literally have you seen day to day who actually goes out and buys vintage adidas jumpers and shit maybe nike windbreakers that's a big thing that second hand market's big adidas sweats adidas t-shirts 
Adidas hoodies. Really? We've all had a period in time. I know I had. I had a couple. I think I had a couple of olive, olive green ones, maybe some yellow and orange ones, but you stop wearing them after a while because the stuff you were wearing them with, you don't wear them anymore. It's sort of like, it's, it's a bit of a look. You know what I mean? You don't just stick a, uh, a free stripe jumper on, on your way to work as something to add a bit of layer. It's something that you're wearing as part of your overall look that you want to give the impression of. So once you're over that look and you're maybe over that scene, it just ends up being something you wear on the day you're doing the washing, the day you're going to have to nip out to go do some shopping. It doesn't become a style piece anymore. And I think this is what happening with those things. Like the question is, why does he have so many of these jumpers in the first place? If they're so in demand, like why are they just all hanging around? Right? It's like, oh yeah, yeah, man. Like you couldn't give this stuff away for free. That's why it's probably giving away for free. You couldn't sell this stuff. No way. What are you going to say? Reclaimed, repurposed Sean Witherspoon Adidas tops. What are you going to sell them for what? Double their market value or whatever. No one's going to buy them. So then you have to give them away in the hope that people want to wear them. But yeah. Shocking state of affairs, man. I don't like. Me not a fan. Let's see what they're saying in the comments. Let's see if people agree because I haven't seen the comments on the hype piece, but they're always brutal. Let's see if they generally agree or don't agree. They said, recycled trash described <laughs> SW's collaborators pretty well okay that's maybe agreeing with me here when I saw slide 10 with the childish dog tattoo all I thought about was that scene in Casino where Sam Ace Rothstein had security beat the guy playing his hand in the hammer um, imagine coming into the game so hot round 2 going crazy in LA with the vlogs and social media coverage the Air Max collab and then just completely fizzling out overnight dude hasn't done anything remotely cool or noteworthy ever since must be such a shitty feeling lol yeah, that's why I wonder, like, what happened? Round two was one of the biggest things since Sliced Bread when it came out. He was also a massive presence on social. Like, you, you, it felt like I saw his picture or something relating to him in round two on my discovery page every other day on Instagram. Then, of course, the Air Max collab comes out, which is legitimately what might go down in history as one of the greatest Air Max 1 collaborations of all time in terms of the colorway, in terms of the material application. Like, everything about it is fucking insane. The Air Max 1 slash 87 thing, like, fucking phenomenal, right? Or 98, sorry. The Air Max 1 slash 98. That with a corduroy upper, like, phenomenal. The kind of shoe where, honestly, doesn't make any sense because it's corduroy. But I have a friend that has a pair. I've known people that have worn them themselves, especially... You see people out and about. Where, weirdly enough, that Sean Wolverspoon Air Max 1 might be the most worn limited edition shoe I've ever seen as well. Outside of maybe Sakai's and whatnot. Like you see everyone wearing them, even though they're worth so much. Like they actually wear them because they cherish them. Similar to like the Tom Sachs um, Mars Yards and stuff. Um, but yeah, amazing Air Max, super popular. Everyone flipping loves them. And then it just fizzles out of the blue. It just goes to complete kaput. Like, what happened? What really happened there behind the scenes? Because it feels like he hasn't been able to recover, even off the back of that, even lining up again. I, I, this isn't Nike, don't get me wrong. But they're still a major, major sportswear manufacturer. They still have incredible stuff in their archive you can dig in, you can dig through. They still have crazy good collaborations coming out, even to this day. Why did it's not working for him? I don't get it. Um, so people saying bum, it's been mean. People writing, people putting a corny emoji. Other people saying would have been dope if he could have uh, be brand neutral with Kif, but this dude has no source whatsoever. One trick pony. I don't think that's true. One trick pony is flipping um, what's his name? Um, what's his name? Jeff Staple. That's a one trick pony, the pigeon guy, right? He just keeps bringing out the same thing again and again and again. But at least with Sean Wotherspoon, he's new in the game. He's not as old. He doesn't have such as you know he, he's probably not as entitled as has a big big head as jeff staple does and he's still learning so i don't know why he's fizzled out so quickly like he actually has room to grow and get bigger but somehow it hasn't resonated for whatever reason and i don't know why i really don't know why i'd love to know more if, if anyone knows the information behind the scenes of what actually occurred and why this is a representation of sean Wotherspoon's flipping career now with him holding these bin bags full of useless garments that no one wanted in the first place and trying to repurpose them and give them away to people who are at a festival where they want to be scantily clad anyway. They don't want to be covered up. They want to show as much skin as possible because they haven't been eating for six months and they want to show that body off. Then someone, please let me know, please. Because I would love to know what the deal is because it doesn't make any sense to me. 
it just seems like he either got spit out and chewed out by Nike. Maybe he did something behind the scenes. Maybe the money wasn't right. I don't know. Something happened because it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. 